Yes, sir. Man, just as quick as you could rise, you could fall even quicker. <laughs> the Sixers lost in Game 7 not too long ago against the Hawks, and everybody wants to blame Ben Simmons, essentially allowing Doc Rivers to just sit in the shadows and Ben Simmons could just catch all of the heat because it's obvious Ben Simmons is in his own head. Doc Rivers, yes, he won a title in Boston. How long ago was that, bro? He hasn't done anything lately. Yes, he is one of the remaining black coaches, so they want to keep that image in the league, but he has to step his game up, bro. We can't be riding the coattails of a title that you won years ago when you basically were loaded. You had the big three, you had Rondo, you had Tom Thibodeau as your defensive coach. So you had it already made, but what have you done lately? In the game seven, you're playing 10 players. Who the hell has a 10-man rotation in a game seven? But now Ben Simmons, obviously, he's not taking the shots or he's not willing to take these shots. He's in his own head. Anybody that plays sports knows that if you're in your own head, you're basically hurting your performance. You're thinking about catching. You're thinking about shooting. You're thinking you're too open. You're just thinking too much. You have to play more. You have to play more free. You have to loosen up a bit and things will get better. The question isn't, do you trade Ben Simmons? The question is, where do you try to and what will you get back in return? When you had the opportunity to trade him for James Harden and you said no, you absolutely have to throw up on yourself. What? Because that just basically shows that you know that Ben Simmons has promise, but you're putting too much promise into him. You're putting too much faith into him. You're basically going to find yourself in a situation like Boston. You're having too many cars on hand and you don't know what to do with them. The best situation for Ben Simmons is going to have to be in Golden State, Minnesota, or New Orleans, in my opinion. Stephen A is going to bring up Portland, but it's like, what are you going to get back for him? And why would Portland make that trade? That was, That's not going to help them. Dame Lillard needs the ball in his hand at all times. Ben Simmons needs the ball in his hands. Dame Lillard doesn't play off the ball. He's not a Steph Curry. He doesn't do that, run around screens and things like that. Get him in Golden State when things open up. You got him playing with Steph and Clay. Let's see how much shit talking will be directed towards Ben Simmons then. <laughs> Let's see what they're talking about. Who looks worse here? Is it Doc or Ben Simmons? It was definitely Ben Simmons. Doc doesn't play. So we have to remember Doc has won a championship, so he knows what he's doing. We get it, Magic. He won a championship, but what has he done lately? He knows what he's doing, then why is he consistently blowing 3-1 leads? This isn't the cash blame on one of the only five or six black coaches in the league and whatnot. This is just what have you done lately? And you have to take this criticism also. Ben Simmons, yes, he's not taking these shots. He has to do better, but it's on the coach. That's what a coach is there for, right? Talking about a championship that he won about 15 years ago with the big three in Rondo. Listen, when you're the second best player on your team and we say, hey, he's a star. He's been an all-star. You got to perform like one. And Ben Simmons did not do that. He wasn't aggressive. But the Sixers won lost this series in game five. That's who. If they had a won game five, they would have won this series. But they lost the series when uh, Coach McMillan of the Hawks did that hot hacker Simmons, mm -hmm. and they couldn't go to the free throw line and hit those free throws, and that's where they lost this series. And then he lost his confidence in game five as well, right? And so now it's time for a new a destination and a new place for Ben Simmons. It'd be great for him. It'd be great for the organization. Rich Paul's got to go out and do his thing as his agent to get him in a place where he can thrive, get his confidence back. Hopefully there's a star at another team who needs a, a change of scenery as well and bring that person into Philly. Fan base loves the Sixers in Philly, and this man can talk about that you know, more than I can. I played against the Sixers twice, so I know that fan base they love the Sixers, and talk radio this morning is probably talking about, you know, getting Simmons out of there. Doc Rivers prepared the team, but he can't shoot. That's a rumor, Magic. That is a rumor, Magic. He didn't prepare any team. If he prepared his team, they would have won in six. They would have won game five. He wouldn't be playing a 10-man rotation. Stop making excuses for the man those he can't knock down shots first of all here's the deal <clears throat> there is no excusing 
what's going on with Doc Rivers. I love the man personally and professionally. Uh, but there have been several collapses on his watch. And this weekend is particularly devastating because the Los Angeles Clippers won a game seven and went to the conference finals for the first time in franchise history in Ty Lue's first year. And he did it the last two games, three games, without Kawhi Lue. Go look up Ty Lue and, and when he's down in the series. Or I got you. On the line. I got you. The point is, is that you consider what Ty Lue did in year one and that Doc Rivers didn't do it in seven years. And then on the same weekend, you lose a game seven to an Atlanta Hawks team most people thought that you were supposed to beat. This is not a good day for Doc Rivers, number one. Yeah. But having said all of that, I roll with my man, my man Magic Johnson. Ben Simmons has got to go. He's 24 years of age. He's a star talent. Right. And I'm not saying that Ben Simmons should be given up on because he's some scrub or anything like that. It goes to what you pointed out, Magic. I know Philly. Yeah. I worked there for 17 years. I was a columnist for my last time. Let me tell you something right now. That city ain't going to ever forgive him for what they have seen. And here's why. Not just that he missed shots. He didn't take them. Yeah. See, when you see the Greek freak in Milwaukee miss or make, he takes them. Ben Simmons is literally scared to shoot the basketball. He gave up a wide open dunk because he anticipated he was going to be fouled and didn't want to go to the free throw line. 34% shooting in the postseason. For anybody who's attempted 70 or more, it's the worst free throw percentage shooting in the history of basketball. And this is a league where Chamberlain and Shaquille O'Neal played it. Right. And they shot better for the free throw line than Ben Simmons. This is very, very bad. And when you take that into consideration, and you combine that with the fact that Philadelphia being a very unforgiving town, and they don't know how to let off and lay off, and they're going to constantly berate him, and it... That was a play right there. He basically said that he thought that Gallinari was on his back. So obviously, yes, he was scared of getting fouled because he know he stinks at the free throw line. But is he wrong? Anybody that plays basketball know that you could feel the presence of somebody on your back. And would you rather get fouled or would you rather somebody just get an easy bucket? So, yeah, you can look at you can look at it from both ways. And yeah, Simmons, he definitely should have went up with that because he's definitely left handed and he wouldn't have gotten fouled because Gallinari was on his right hand side. Let's let's check it out real quick. And you combine that with the fact that Philadelphia being a very unforgiving town and they don't know how to let off and lay off and they're going to constantly berate him. And it's see that play, just seeing it in real time. It looks like he could jump up. But when you're in your own head, you're not thinking logically and you're not thinking correctly and you're not thinking aggressively. You're acting in defense mode you're taking what the defense gives you you're not playing in your true nature then ben simmons needs a better coach in a better situation so yeah. with him i don't believe he can overcome that max in the city of philadelphia you gotta move him i'm gonna say it right here on national television try and get yourself somebody like cj mccullum mm -hmm. bring him to philly send ben simmons to portland because with all the perimeter That's guys they have in day That wouldn't make any sense. And what perimeter guys do they have over there, Steve? Then they just lose to Denver without Jamal Murray? Like, how are you going to trade away C.J. McCollum? They have Dame Lillard. He doesn't play off the ball. You have who? Norm Powell? Carmelo Anthony? That is the perimeter players that they have in Portland. Come on, Stephen. You're supposed to be this basketball expert and whatnot. That doesn't make any sense. Lillard, it will work. That's how bad his trade value has been diminished. I had, you know, now it's like, can you get C.J. McCollum for Ben Simmons? It was four years, Look, 140 million. Ben Simmons cannot be fixed in Philadelphia. I agree with you. And by the way, the Philly fans get such a bad rap for riding guys. How are they with Markel Fultz? When he was going through problems, that city supported him. Any little positive thing he could do, they're doing the same thing for Ben Simmons. The city's behind him. He just let him down. I think it's over for him. I think it's they've supported him. I think it's over for Ben Simmons in Philly. And then you got to eat the fact that you drafted Markel Fultz. You traded up to draft for Markel Fultz in a, in a draft that you could have had Jason Tatum. <laughs> you just make bad move after bad move. You could have had Jason Tatum. You could have had James Harden on your team. Can Doc be fixed in Philly? I, I agree with you both. Ben Simmons got to go. Can Doc be fixed in Philly? Look at what just happened. Look, you're right, Magic. He's already shown he can win a championship with a big three in a league that didn't have any other big three. They were the only one. Got one. 
collapsed, more, more playoff collapses, the stats have been going around, et cetera, et cetera. And I love Doc Rivers. I loved him as a point guard for the Knicks. But we have to be honest about this. You can't play Dwight Howard in that game. Or, or Shake Milton. Like, those guys can't see the floor. He went 10 deep in a game seven. In a game. Think about what was happening in that game early on. Dudes who were getting cooked. Like, this is just coaching stuff. Gallinari was cooking George Hill. Cooking. Seth Curry was getting cooked by, uh, by Herter, right? And then they're playing a backcourt of Trey Young and Lou Will. You gotta punish that. Offensively, you have to bet. They can't play defense. But, but, you gotta Max, punish him. But well, 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 who? Who are you gonna punish him with? Well, you know, if Tobias if, Harris would be nice if he showed up. Okay, but that didn't happen. Tobias Harris is one of the most overrated average players in the history of the NBA. Danny Green hurt his injury. No hurt, doubt. Hurt the no Sixers. Question. So you can't judge Doc River until Danny Green is in that lineup. But this is it. You, you talked about last season. That- but you're going against the Hawks, a team that nobody was predicting to make the playoffs. Everybody's predicting the Sixers to come out of the East. So we're looking at it already from a bad perspective, man. You're giving Doc Rivers all these excuses. Danny Green, yes, he wasn't playing. Okay. You have other players in place. Trey Young is the only star player on the other side, but you kept getting cooked by Herter. Kevin Herter was cooking Seth Curry. You have nobody that can play defense. You have nobody that can shoot a three-point. Seth Curry isn't guaranteed to make these threes. He's the only person that's shooting threes. Joel Embiid, he could hit threes, but you need him down low. Tobias Harris is supposed to be another person to hit threes, but he is a shaky player. You have nobody with confidence other than Joel Embiid. Rivers wasn't playing against the Denver Nuggets. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George didn't show up in Game 7. Jamal Murray outscored both of those superstars. One man did, right? So that's not Doc's fault. Same thing here. Listen, Ben Simmons got to take ownership and say, listen, this is what's going on out here. I know Joe Embiid's going to give me 30. I got to get at least 20 to 25 for us to win. I'm not. What do you get for Ben Simmons? And who should want him? Well, a solid player. McCollum would be great because he can shoot. He has stressed the floor. He can play alongside. And he ain't scared to shoot. Exactly. Sure. Stephen A., who do you think should want Simmons? I just said Portland. I think I think I think Portland, a team like Portland with the perimeter players and the style of play that they have. Man, this broad Molly don't be paying attention, man. A straight up airhead. The dude said Portland about five minutes ago for CJ McCullum. <laughs> and this airhead asked it even they to repeat itself. <laughs> Mention the fact that their Achilles heel is defense. Yeah. And Ben Simmons doesn't have Great. that. Great. I think he's the best defender in the league. Yeah. But let me also add this. Here's what I will, again, you're right, you're right about Doc Rivers. Here's what the point to, though. Seth Curry is a damn good basketball yeah. player. We've been very pleased about what we've seen from him. He's undersized against Herder. You know it. You see it. And you do nothing about it. <laughs> Yo, Doc Rivers is overrated, Tobias Harris is overrated, and for the time being, Ben Simmons is overrated. Am I too far off when I say Ben Simmons isn't that far off from Giannis? Giannis is obviously the better player right now because he's willing to take shots and chances that Ben Simmons is obviously unwilling to take. But Ben Simmons is not that far off from being Giannis. He just needs to get his confidence back, get his mojo back, and get in his groove. But when we want to talk about these trade destinations and things like that, like I said, Try to get him in Golden State, Golden State Warriors. Try to get Ben Simmons and trade away Andrew Wiggins or Kelly Oubre, something like that, and they will make it happen. Golden State will be in the playoffs next year if they make that trade. There's not too many places that you can make the trade, and obviously because Ben Simmons is at a low stock right now, so people are going to buy low and send you anything for it. So it is what it is when it comes down to it. But Ben Simmons definitely has to get out of Philly. And Doc Rivers, he's not going to have that much time there in Philly also. The proof is in the put in people will see it for themselves doc rivers is overrated and it doesn't matter that he's a black coach you are a coach it doesn't matter if you are so-called black or white you stink at what you're doing right now and you could do better it is what it is let me know what y'all think i'm out